Hey guys, we're on day 12. Uh, today, we're going to work on getting the foot controls figured out. Foot controls being the foot pegs, the foot brake pedal or brake lever, and then the um, shift linkage on the left side. Uh, this is what I have from the dirt bike, the donor bike. I'm going to go ahead and cut the foot pegs and some of the tubing they're attached to off and see if we can't rig that up the frame somehow. So let's get to cutting. So this is what made the purchase of this dirt bike possible. The kid who I bought it from said his older brother was riding it and he went and jumped it and he broke this part off of the frame right here. Um, this is where the suspension hooks on. This is where the foot pegs mount to the actual frame. So basically made the whole thing completely unrideable. But because of that unfortunate incident, it allowed me to one, get this bike for cheap, two, it's gonna make this part a lot easier. Um, I'm gonna plan on using these foot pegs on the mini bike. Um, on the right side of the uh, mini bike frame, the engine sticks out just a little bit further just because of the way the engine is with the clutch basket and everything. So this is gonna work out perfect because I can cut this, leave this tube long to allow for some additional clearance outside of the motor and then I'm gonna cut this side long too, just so I have some room to play with and tweak. So, anyway, let's get this thing cut up and then we can start mocking it up, see how it's gonna fit. Something else I just realized real quick while I was cutting this, I've also got my side stand mount. I can just alter the stock side stand, put the spring that I have. I don't even have to fabricate that. Easy's good. Doing some quick mock-ups here. Uh, you can see this is the right side where the engine sticks out a little further. Um, you can see how I've got this uh, foot peg extended out a little bit. It's actually pretty close right now to how I want it. Uh, we just need to clean up all this excess, cut off the extra brackets, and then tack it in place and do the finalization with that one. So that one's close and we're good there. The other side, on the other hand, we've got some work to do to make this one work. My issues are, well first I need to clear all this extra bracketry out of the way, um, but I need to make sure that this linkage lines up properly and in the correct angles. And I can't quite test fit it yet because I just got too much stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this excess stuff off and go from there. Okay, well, looks like I'm gonna have to mount the uh, side stand bracket separate. Still don't have enough room in there, so I'm gonna try to cut off around this weld the best I can. All right guys, you can see that I got the linkage. Both, well, this is supposed to be a 90 degree angle right here. It's not quite 90. That's okay, this is actually still shifting. Um, I've placed a couple of, well, they're more than tacks at this point. Not pretty, but just to hold this on here temporarily, make sure this uh, shifting linkage actually works. I'm going to have to modify this arm. I had to bend it to get out of the way of the frame, which I kind of figured was going to happen. But, let's see here. You tell my first gear, shift up, neutral, 
Got a second, third, fourth, and a fifth. All right, so the shifter does work in that position. Uh, it's not the perfect angles. I realize this, but I can still do a little bit of tweaking here. But uh, anyway, we're going to call that good. I'm going to work on changing the uh, angle and position of the uh, shifter lever now. So here's my plan to modify the shifter. Um, I can't really adjust the lever up anymore. I don't have much travel left here. I can move it up a little bit, but it's still not quite high enough. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little slot, the base of it, bend it up, and then fill that back in with weld. And that way the pedal will be up a little higher, easier accessibility for my foot. Um, and then I'm going to also make another slit and reposition so this is square to the foot peg. All right, I am happy with the pedal position. I'm happy with the peg position. I'm gonna go ahead and do more of a final pass on the outside here with weld. Um, and then when we, when I strip the whole frame down, pull the motor out, I'm gonna have to weld the backside to reinforce that so the uh, peg doesn't snap off. With left foot peg done, I'm gonna really focus on getting the right one done here, at least getting it mounted up. Still got to figure out how, how to uh, make this pedal work with a hydraulic master cylinder instead of a drum brake setup, but that's okay. Something else. But I wanna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this down right now. I know it's way too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off right here. Go check it on the bike fitment again. Go from there. So this peg sits too low compared to the other one. So I think I'm gonna need to do is unbolt it here and just re-weld this piece up a little higher. That way I can still retain this pedal. I can always modify that to fit the change I make here. That'll raise this up a couple of inches, and then I can still retain this pivot and the bracket and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off here and re-weld this a little higher. All right, plans are changing as I go here, but I've got it tacked in place right here on the front side. I've checked its alignment front to back, left to right. It's level. I'm gonna tack it on the back side, and I'm gonna modify the height of the peg.
with the altered uh, foot peg bracket here, obviously that's not a strong joint. So I'm gonna stick a gusset in here and probably do the same thing on this side and then weld all this in to make that one big strong piece again so this doesn't snap off. Guys, we're calling that good for today. We're getting really close to getting this thing to the point of a test ride, and I'm super excited about it. I'm really, really happy that I'm able to sit on something that I created and kind of feel out my seating position and everything. Very exciting, but uh, anyway, make sure you guys uh, subscribe down below. Um, stay up to date with this build, and if you have any friends or anything that are interested in motorcycles, mini bikes, or anything that I do on my channel, please share these videos or my Facebook channel on Facebook with your friends, family, whoever. Help out my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, stick around for the next video. Thanks again, guys. I've never been known for my patience. This is going to be fun.